which I need to go to uh, urgently. The Chandrayaan-3 rover has now confirmed the presence of sulfur on the lunar surface. Now, this is a huge development. Uh, sulfur has been found near the lunar south pole. The search is currently on to find if there are traces of hydrogen. Remember, ISRO has been saying that the hunt is on for these various minerals which could be found on the lunar surface in frozen form. The surface temperature there could be as low as minus 200 degrees. Some of these minerals could have been frozen for hundreds of years uh, in that state and at that temperature. So it has found the presence of sulfur. To try and make sense of this, let me go across to my colleague Harish Padhyay, who's joining us on the phone line. Harish, what is the significance of this discovery? The fact that Chandrayaan-3 rover has found traces of sulfur on the lunar surface, what does it mean? Well, uh, scientists are essentially saying that uh, this in a way indicates that uh, some of the characteristics of the lunar surface uh, pretty much might be similar to uh, the characteristics of uh, some of the soils found on Earth. And also it helps uh, scientists now to find the origin uh, of this part of uh, the lunar uh, surface on whether it came out of a lava, whether uh, there were other, uh, ele- uh, other uh, episodes that happened that led to these elements being found there. Remember, it's not just uh, sulfur. Uh, right now, ISRO is saying they've also found aluminium, calcium, iron, chromium, and uh, titanium as well. And uh, uh, the two other elements that ISRO is right now looking at, one obviously is hydrogen. That's something that uh, some of the rovers of NASA, uh, which had gone in the 90s, had found. Second, uh, there are crucial rare earth elements that the scientific world wants to know if it's there. And if we can at any stage in the coming decade or so look at bringing back uh, bringing back samples from there, and uh, that's something that perhaps the scientific world would want to know if there are rare earth elements uh, present on the lunar surface. And, and how is all of this information being transmitted back to uh, Mission Control in Bengaluru? Uh, who are the experts who are processing this information, and how do they make sense of how significant uh, this is? Well, each of these payloads that are, that are on board uh, Chandrayaan-3 have a principal uh, investigator and a co-investigator. Now, this will be uh, investigated by the team, which is part of the payload, which is known as the laser-induced breakdown spectroscope. And uh, that is something that is looking at the chemical composition. And uh, the other significant point that one has to point out here is uh, the fact that uh, the instrument used is also developed in-house by uh, ISRO. This is by the Laboratory for Electro-Optic Systems. This is based out of Bengaluru. And that team will now study uh, all the data that's coming in and also uh, more information that will come in in the coming few days uh, till the lunar day gets over. And uh, perhaps that's why ISRO is saying the search for hydrogen is still on because that would be an indicator that uh, there are uh, elements, there is, some bit of an environment that can help any sort of a life. So that's the reason the search is on for hydrogen now. All right, we'll leave it at that. Harish Padhyay, uh, many thanks for joining us with that big development from the uh, Chandrayaan rover that's probing, uh, the Pragyan rover that is probing the lunar surface. It has detected the presence of sulfur on the moon's surface.